Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with one of the latest cases uh, from DeskPy. This is the DeskPy Lit, which is very similar in some situations to the DeskPy Pro, with the exception of the price. It has a really interesting price and I will leave some links down below so that you guys can check out specifications, prices and what not. Let me start by sharing really quickly the experience that is to assemble the Raspberry Pi 4 on the Desk Pi Lit. If you want to check details on the Desk Pi Pro, I will leave some links right over here so that you guys can check that out. Now, first step is to remove eight screws that are at the bottom. Yeah, eight screws right over here. I thought that we didn't need to remove all of them, but we actually do. And it makes sense once we open it up because some of them will be securing the motherboard, which is inside this case. Some of them will be uh, securing the Raspberry Pi to the case, and some of them will be just uh, securing the case. Now, once we remove the screws, we will open the case. We will have access to the motherboard that comes included with the case. We will need to apply the thermal pads uh, right over here so that we can put in the cooler. Once we have that, just put in the cooler. Then to screw the cooler in place, we need to put two screws at the bottom to really secure it. And after that, we can just make the connection between the Raspberry Pi and the motherboard that it's inside the case. Now it will connect the USB type C to USB type C, the two micro HDMI connections, and also the audio connection. Once we have that done, we can then put in the um, motherboard and Raspberry Pi back in the case and after that we just need to put back eight screws and that is it we are ready to start using it so as quick as this and actually I took more time probably recording but uh, to do it yourself will be a matter of minutes really really easy the cooling is great I've been playing around with it already and I've already recording the video the next few days how to install a really nice operating system right over here so stay tuned for that now one more thing before we go in terms of the connections which I didn't show already if we take a look at the front of the both units, the DeskPy Pro version and the DeskPy Lit version, what we'll find right over here really curious is that the connections are more or less the same. At the front we will have both power button, two USB connections right over here, also the micro SD and the DeskPy Lit has a cut at the front so that we can see the LEDs while the DeskPy Pro doesn't have because it has this translucent piece right over here that will allow us to see the light. The left side we will find the DeskPy Lit GPIO connection on the right side nothing the uh, DeskPy Pro doesn't have any connection on the sides but if we take a look at the back we'll find the USB type C to power on the units the two HDMI full size ports which is just awesome audio output and then on the DeskPy Lit we have four USB ports available while on the DeskPy Pro optionally we have three or four three in the case that we use a 2.5 inch SSD or M.2 SSD, one of the great features of the Desk Pi Pro. So that's a option. And then we have the Ethernet connection, and on the Desk Pi Pro, we have the GPIO connection at the back instead of the left side. So as you can see, if you want a budget case, really cool looking with a great cooling solution, then the Desk Pi Lit is a great option because it's half the price of the Desk Pi Pro. Now, if you need to put in a SSD inside, M.2 or 2.5 inches, then the solution still is Desk Pi Pro. And you can check out the review right over here. If you don't need to put in a SSD, then the Desk Pi Lit will do a great job. And that being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.